So guys, in this video, I will show you how we can set the virtual environment uh, for PyCharm. So the benefit of setting up the virtual environment is that we can, uh, we don't need to install packages or libraries all the time for each project. We can choose the existing uh, package or library. So for example, I came here in my D drive, program files, I create a new folder with PyCharm libraries. As of now, this folder is empty, okay? I just copied this part. I came here, I select new project, and I choose this thing. For location, I remove the C drive location because I don't want my uh, libraries to be stored in C drive. Instead, I want to store it in my own specific desired selected location. So I paste the URL here. Okay, after uh, pasting my URL, this is the new link where my virtual environment will be set up in D drive, okay? This next step is I have to make sure make available to all projects is selected because I want to use all my packages or libraries to all projects. Okay, now the next step is I will press create. So let's see, my interpreter is going to be set up very soon. Don't show tips, close. Uh, okay. Sometimes it takes a bit of time, so let's wait. Finally, it's going to create the virtual environment for us. Now it's updating the Python interpreter, it's done. So what we have, we have main.py. Mm, I don't need this, okay, as of now it's not hurting, so got it. Okay, so we have, I can make it. So guys, I'm going into this now settings, Python, Python project, Python interpreter. So look, D drive, program files, PyCharm, set script, python.exe. So this is my, my default interpreter. Okay, for as of now, I have these three packages installed. Okay, what if I want to install another package? For example, I want to install numpy. I will select numpy and I will just press on the install package. It will take some time. It's in, look, it's installing package numpy. So as of now, in D drive, look, a, a virtual environment folder is created for us. If we go and open the virtual environment, we have lib. In lib folder, we have packages. As of now, uh, numpy, numpy is installed, okay. Numpy is just the default for, for playing with the data in Aries. This is the use of numpy. We have very other popular libraries, for example, pandas for data manipulation. We can install, I'm installing this one because I always use this specific libraries so often. Matplot. Matplotlib is also one of the most commonly used package. So I'm installing all the necessary or most useful libraries. So you can install whatever package do you need. Okay, so now all of them are installed successfully. Look, now you can see in DTRI program files, I have my virtual environment set up and there these all libraries are installed. Uh, if I want to verify, I can go, wait a second, in my DTRIVE. Uh, as of now, I'm in DTRIVE, programming files, program files, PyCharm libraries, virtual environment, lib, site packages. Look, here we have all the installed, latest installed libraries. So what I can do now, I can just press OK. Now I can just exit my project. Yes. So look, my project is exit. I close all the folders. For example, I want to create a project here. Uh, basic. You can choose any name. Doesn't matter. I want to copy the URL of this project because I want to create something. So now we saw how we can set up the virtual environment. The next step is I want to use the, the, the libraries which I just installed, the packages. So what I will do, I will close the main button. I don't like this one. Or I can do new project. I want to select from a specific folder. I want to, okay, you can create anywhere. I just create the basic folder. Create, don't ask. Open um, this window, this pattern. So my basic project is uh, created and I have the main file. I don't want to use the existing code. I want to create my own code here. But before creating my code, I have to make sure what is the interpreter selected. It should be my D drive. So I will go into the Python basic, Python interpreter. Look, as of now, there's no interpreter. I have to make sure I should select D, the right in a virtual environment because I stored all my libraries there. So this is the check for this video. When I click on setting, I want to show, see all the interpreters. I have only one defined interpreter which I say, selected or just created. Okay, so now this interpreter virtual environment is selected. I will just click on apply and it will load all the installed libraries or packages. I will click OK. For example, I want to create some project or some basic code. I want to import numpy as np. So look, I didn't get any numpy error because I already installed this package. So for example, if I want to create something, 
now I want to use NP as an array. Uh, I want to store like 50, 60, 90, these three values. And if I will print my C, and right click, to compile the Python project, just right click and run main. You can come, look, we have got the array, because NumPy is used to use for array manipulation. And also you can do many more with NumPy. So uh, to, in order to compile Python project, there are two options. Either you can select run from main. Once you did this for the first time, for, for a head, you can just simply directly click on run. It will execute your project. So this is how we set up the virtual environment. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.